Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. How are you today? I hope you are doing fine. I am Puan Rafida from SK Tanjung Agas. With me today is Encik Saiful Amri bin Sailan, our sign language interpreter from SMP KV Shah Alam. Today, we will learn about reproduction and growth in human science year 2. These are the learning objectives of today's lesson. At the end of the learning session, people will be able to Number 1. State how human reproduce. Number 2. Describe the changes of size, height and weight among individual since birth. Number three, find the differences between height, weight and size of various individual in the given pictures. And number four, describe the similar inheritance from offspring and their parents. These are the three topics that we will focus on today. Firstly, we will touch on reproduction or also known as the process of giving birth. Next, we will learn about human growth and the life cycle. Then, we will discover how offspring inherit features such as the color of iris, the skin color and their hair type from their parent or ancestor. From this video, we can see that human reproduce by giving birth. A male and female adults will need to get married before having a child. A mother will be pregnant for nine months while the infant grow in her womb. The infant will grow slowly over the course of nine months. Then, the mother will give birth to the child. We will now move to the human development from a baby to the adult stages. This next subtopic is related to the stage of human growth. It is similar to the life cycle. How many stages of growth do you know? You can guess the answer in 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Time's up! The answer is, there are four stages of human growth. Let's learn all about the four stages. First, human growth starts with the infant stage from birth at 0 months to 12 months old. Second, come the child stage where they start from 7 to 12 years old. The child start going to primary school and develop more cognitive abilities. Next, the teenager stage that start from 13 to 18 years old and they enter the secondary school phase. Lastly, is the adult stage from 19 years onward. Adults usually start working and become more independent. Infants can be very small and sensitive. They need a lot of careful handling in order to grow up healthy. Babies can't talk when something is wrong. They will let people know by crying. Pretend you are holding a baby. Show how. 
you will carry the baby to keep it safe. At the child stage, they grow taller and do more things. This stage is full of lots of changes and children likes to do a lot of things such as write, reading, writing and counting. What can you do now, now that you could not do before? For example, pouring out a glass of juice or reaching a tall bookshelf. The teenager stage is from ages 13 to 18 years old. Teenagers are getting ready to be adults and are becoming independent. Teenagers' body change a lot during this stage. They get taller and start to look more like adults. How many more years will it take for you to be a teenager? Well, if you are 8 years now, it will take 4 more years to reach 13 years old. Being an adult is also called being a grown up. They are Lots of things that grown up can do. A lot of adults, adults can job and live on their own with friend or with a partner. At some point, many adults have children of their own, which starts the human life cycle again. What job? would you like to be to do when you are an adult? Moving on, we will learn more about the changes from each stage of human growth. There are three main changes that happen which are increase in size, increase in weight and increase in height. For example, this is a baby's shirt. It's very small and cannot fit a toddler's size. This is a baby size. The baby's shirt is small because it is suitable for the infant stage. From the picture, you can see that after a year, the baby's size, height and weight has increased very much. From one month old, his height was 30 centimeters. And at eight years old, his height was 100 centimeters. When he was a teenager, his height increased to 155 cm. At the adult stage, he only grew a little bit more to 165 cm. These children are all of the same age, but they have different heights, size, and weights. Raju, Cheng, and Farah are all from year 2 Bestari. Raju weighs 27 kilograms with the height of 95 centimeter. Cheng's weighs 33 kilograms with the height of 86 centimeter and Farah weighs 25 kg with the height of 72 cm. From this picture given, 
Who is the tallest among them? And who is heaviest? Raju is the tallest with a height of 95 centimeters. And the heaviest among them is Cheng at 33 kilograms. Next, count the difference in height between Raju and Cheng. The answer is 9 centimeters. Good job, everyone. Now, let's compare the size of their school shoes. They have the same color, but are they the same size? These are their shoe sizes. Raju wear size 15 shoes, while Cheng wear size 13 shoes. Farah, on the other hand, wear size 12 shoes. Why do you think their shoe sizes and heights are so different? I give you three seconds to think. One, two, and three. Actually, it is because our growth is different from each other. No one will grow exactly the same, even if you are the same age. So, don't worry if you are short because you might grow very tall soon. Make sure you eat more protein, for example, milk, eggs, meat and fish. Now, you can refer to your Science Year 2 activity book on page 14 and 15. On page 14 activity 2, you can refer to the textbook page 25 to 27. The answer for number 1 is Increase in weeks from 20 kilograms to 35 kilogram. For number two, the answer is increase in height from 110 centimeters to 120 centimeter. Next, the answer is increase in size from S size T-shirt to M size T-shirt. On page 15, activity 3, you can also refer to the textbook page 25 to 27. The answer is number 1. Kugan increase in size. Number 2. Kugan became taller. And number 3. Kugan became heavier. From this, we can conclude that since birth, we have experienced changes in size, height and weight. Let's have a look at this short video. Humans reproduce when they give birth. When a woman is pregnant, her baby grows in her womb. Before the baby is born, it is called a fetus. It takes nine months for the fetus to fully develop before it is born. During a pregnancy, the mother must eat the right food to help her baby grow. When a mother sees her newborn for the first time, it's love at first sight, literally. In this video, you can see that children have similar characteristics inherited from their parents. From this video, all of the similar features that we have are inherited from our parents or ancestors. There are also some families 
with mixed marriages from various races. Their children will inherit fishes from both sides of their parents. Example of mixed marriages are African American families, Asian American families, Chinese Indian families, and many others. These fishes are inherited from their parents to their child. There are also many more similar characteristics that are passed down from the previous generation. As you can see, the similarities between them are the hair types, the nose shape, the skin color, and the shape of their ears. Now, let's have a look at this next picture of a mother and her daughter when they are at the same age. The similarities are the eye shape, iris color, eyebrow shape and face shape. Try to find the similar features from these two pictures of a father and his son. They are actually three similar features which are the eye shape, skin color and their type of hair. Try to list down three features that can be in inherited by a child. These are some other physical features that you see in your surrounding. Number one, face structure. Number two, shape of nose. Number three, color of iris. Number four, dimples. And number five, shape of eyebrow. And shape of ears. Now, let's review. Number one, there are four stages of human growth. Number two, human changes in size, height and weight individually. Number three, facial features come from parents' genetics. And number four, some fishes are iris color, eye shape, face shape, hair types, hair color, ear shape, nose shape, and many more. In this lesson, you have successfully number one, stated how human reproduce. Number two, Describe the changes of size, height, and weight among individuals since birth. Number three, found the differences between height, weight, and sizes of various individuals in the given pictures. And number four, describe the similar inheritance from offsprings and their parents. Excellent job, everyone! We have now reached the end of our learning session. I hope you had fun learning about human reproductions. That is all for today. Thanks for spending such a wonderful time with me. Stay curious and remember, science is fun. Bye everyone.